Homeward Bound, May 10 Prayer Enhances Spiritual Growth Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Colossians 3, verse 2 Those who have determined to enter the spiritual kingdom will find that all the powers and passions of unregenerate nature, backed by the forces of the kingdom of darkness, are arrayed against them. Each day they must renew their consecration, each day do battle with evil. Old habits, hereditary tendencies to wrong, will strive for the mastery, and against these they are to be ever on guard, striving in Christ's strength for victory. The letter to the Colossians is filled with lessons of highest value to all who are engaged in the service of Christ, lessons that show the singleness of purpose and the loftiness of aim, which will be seen in the life of those who rightly represent the Savior. Renouncing all that would hinder them from making progress in the upward way or that would turn the feet of others from the narrow path, the believers will reveal in their daily life mercy, kindness, humility, meekness, forbearance, and the love of Christ. The power of a higher, purer, nobler life is our great need. The world has too much of our thought, and the kingdom of heaven too little. In their efforts to reach God's ideal for them, Christians are to despair of nothing. Moral and spiritual perfection, through the grace and power of Christ, is promised to all. Jesus is the source of power, the fountain of life. He brings us to His Word, and from the tree of life presents to us leaves for the healing of sin-sick souls. He leads us to the throne of God and puts into our mouth a prayer through which we are brought into close contact with Himself. In our behalf, He sets in operation the all-powerful agencies of heaven. At every step, we touch His living power. God fixes no limit to the advancement of those who desire to be filled with the knowledge of His will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Through prayer, through watchfulness, through growth in knowledge and understanding, they are to be strengthened with all might according to His glorious power. Thus they are prepared to work for others. It is the Savior's purpose that human beings, purified and sanctified, shall be His helping hand. For this great privilege, let us give thanks to Him who hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. The Acts of the Apostles, pages 477 and 478.